first hyena is burned up by fire, the second is flooded by water, the third is blown away by wind, but the fourth is free of these three torments. There is no in-breath or out-breath. It is pure in its equanimity and its memory this is why the Samadhi Raja Samadhi should be in the fourth hyena in the same way that a precious object has its place in a treasury. b. Others say. Who can know the nature of a Samadhi of the Buddha? All the dharmas of the Buddha have a unique nature, without mark, immense, incalculable, inconceivable. If the other Samadhis of the Buddha are immense, incalculable, and inconceivable, what then could be said of the Samadhi Raja Samadhi? The Buddha is the only one who knows it. If the basis of his miraculous power and his morality is inconceivable, what then could be said of the Samadhi Raja Samadhi? Moreover, all the Samadhis are collected in the Samadhi Raja Samadhi. This is why it is called King of Samadhis. In the same way, all the rivers and all the streams of Jambadvipa empty into the great ocean and all the people depend on their king. Question. The Buddha is omniscient and knows everything. Why does he enter into the Samadhi Raja Samadhi and what will he know subsequently? Answer 1. He wishes to show that his wisdom is the result of causes and conditions and astound the six heretic teachers who claim. Wisdom is always present in us. We always know. This is why it is said that the Buddha knows because he has entered into the Samadhi Raja Samadhi and, if he did not enter it, he would not know. Question. If that were so, the power of the Buddha would be very reduced. Answer no because he never has any trouble entering into Samadhi Raja Samadhi, and it takes him but a moment to do so. It is not the same for the Sravakas, the Pratyekabuddhas, and the lesser Bodhisattvas who try in every way to enter Samadhi. 2. Moreover, when he has entered Samadhi Raja Samadhi, the Buddha, with his six super-knowledges, penetrates the ten directions without obstacle or limit. 3. Moreover, when he has entered Samadhi Raja Samadhi, he manifests his great miraculous power by means of all kinds of metamorphoses. If he manifested his great miraculous power without entering into Samadhi Raja Samadhi, some people might think that the Buddha was using the powers of magic or of spells, or that he is a very powerful Naga, or that he is a god and not a human. Why? When a single body emits countless bodies and when all sorts of rays are created, we might easily think that this is not the doing of a human. It is to prevent such an error that the Buddha enters into Samadhi Raja Samadhi. 4. Moreover, if the Buddha entered some Samadhi other than the Samadhi Raja, the Devas, Sravakas, and Pratyekabuddhas would be able to probe it. They would say that the miraculous power of the Buddha is great but nevertheless knowable, and their veneration would be small. It is because the Buddha enters into Samadhi Raja Samadhi that no Arya nor even a tenth Bhumi Bodhisattva is capable of sounding it out. Actually, when the Buddha is deep in the Samadhi Raja, no one knows what the support or what the object of the Buddha's mind is. This is why the Buddha enters into the Samadhi Raja Samadhi. 5. Moreover, there are occasions when the Buddha emits great rays and manifests his great miraculous power. When he attains Bodhi, when he turns the wheel of Dharma, when a great assembly of Devas and Aryas gathers, when he astounds the heretics. He emits great rays on all these occasions. Indeed. It is in order to manifest his superiority that he emits great rays. So that all the beings of the ten directions, human and divine, so that all the Arhats, Pratyekabuddhas and Bodhisattvas might know him by sight. This is why he enters into the Samadhi Raja Samadhi. 6. Finally, rays and miraculous power may be lesser, medium or superior. I. Spells and magic can produce luminous effects that are lesser. 2. Devas, Nagas and Asuras, by virtue of retribution for their actions, have rays and miraculous power that are medium. 3. The one who has entered into Samadhi by actual qualities and mental power, is able to emit great rays and manifest great miraculous power that are superior. 
This is why the Buddha enters into the Samadhi Raja Samadhi. Question. All the Samadhis have their own nature. How can they all be included in the Samadhi Raja Samadhi? Answer 1. When one obtains the Samadhi Raja Samadhi, one obtains all the Samadhis by that very fact. This is why they enter into it. By the power of the Samadhi Raja, all the Samadhis become immense, incalculable, and inconceivable. This is why it is said that they are contained in it. 2. Furthermore, by entering into the Samadhi Raja Samadhi, one enters into all the other Samadhis if one wishes. 3. Furthermore, when one has entered into the Samadhi Raja Samadhi, one can contemplate the nature of all the Samadhis in the way one contemplates everything below from the top of a mountain. 4. Finally, when the Buddha is in Samadhi Raja Samadhi, he is able to contemplate all the universes of the ten directions and also all beings. This is why he enters into the Samadhi Raja Samadhi. Sutra Then, having tranquilly come out of this Samadhi and having contemplated the entire universe with his divine eye, the Bhagavath smiled with his whole body. Sastra Question Having entered into the Samadhi Raja Samadhi, why does the Buddha leave it immediately and contemplate the universe? Answer The Buddha enters Samadhi Raja Samadhi. He opens and examines the precious basket of all the Buddha Dharmas. In this Samadhi, he contemplates and says to himself, The basket of my Dharma is immense, incalculable, and inconceivable. Immediately afterwards, he comes out of Samadhi and contemplates beings with his divine eye. He knows the misery of beings. He knows that the basket of the Dharma which comes from causes and conditions can also be attained by all beings but that the latter, plunged in the shadows of error, do not ask for it and do not seek it. This is why he smiles with his whole body. Question. The Buddha possesses the Buddha eye. The wisdom eye and the Dharma eye. They are better than the divine eye. Why does he use the divine eye to contemplate the universe? Answer because the visual range of the fleshly eye is not great enough. The wisdom eye knows the true nature of the dharmas. The dharma eye sees a given person and discovers by what skillful means and by what teaching that person will find the path. The buddha eye is the direct insight into all dharmas. Here it is the divine eye that considers the universe and beings without encountering any obstacles. It is not the same for the other eyes. The wisdom eye, the dharma eye, and the buddha eye, although superior to the divine eye are not meant to see beings. If one wishes to see beings, there are only two eyes one can use, the fleshly eye and the divine eye but since the fleshly eye's range is insufficient and encounters obstacles, the buddha uses the divine eye.